Hello everyone, welcome to Anything Blockchain. In today's episode, we will be extracting how to solve this particular error when you want to deploy your contract. You will get contract code size over limit. Um, this could be as a result of your the size of your contract growing bigger than 24,576 bytes. So, and um, you can get more information about it here in the uh, EIP 170. The essence of EIP 170 is um, is to help um, prevent denial of service DOS attack. So contracts are not allowed to exceed 24,576 bytes. So in this video, we will be looking at on how to solve this particular issue. Before we continue, please, if you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe and then like this video. Send it to your friends and other developers so that you can help us at Anything Blockchain to continue bringing out um, quality solutions like this your way. Um, I will first of all want to explain that this, um, what I'm about to show you is just a way for you to walk around your code but the best practice is that when your code is big enough as you can see this particular code this code is well large enough and we have about um, seven over 700 780 lines of code in such um, an issue the best practice is number one use libraries split your code into smaller chunks of libraries use interfaces for instance we have this interface we have um, this interface we have you can see another interface here please regroup these interfaces into another file to reduce the size of this whole contract number three is that you also split your contract if the contract has more than one contract in the same file you can split this contract these are ways to reduce your files into smaller chunks but assuming you are going through a tutorial or you are a newbie learning blockchain smart contract development uh, trying to deploy on solidity and uh, you just want to test and know how things are working out and you encounter this kind of challenge how do you solve it in order for you to test run what you want to do i think that is what this video is all about so we are going to go direct into how to solve this issue like i've told you once i click here for me to deploy this contract good so we have contract code size over limit so this is a way that eip 170 tries to stop bigger or larger contract from being deployed if i first send it will tell me out of gas and the essence is to make sure that you do not send that is the error you get gas estimation failed so how do you try send transaction i'm trying to force sending this transaction so we can see the um, the various scenario. So that I love being practical. All right, let me confirm this. Good, you can see transaction failed. Transaction twenty one failed, and you can see it here with this red exclamation X. So this transaction did not go through. How do I solve it? If you are using Remix to deploy a smart contract on chain, how do you solve it? Please listen carefully here. So what do you do? What you do is very simple. When you come to your compiler tab, you will see this arrow here, written advanced configuration. It's always like this. So you click on this arrow button to pull it down 
once you pull it down you will see evm version on default click on this enable optimization as you can see down here you can see that the contract is complaining so once you click on enable optimization allow the contract to compile as see it's rolling and compiling router.so after compile you can see the good the green good sign that it is now compiled successfully without any error that is the function of your enable optimization you can as well reduce this value to as low as one for you to if it's you try compile um, you try deploy it i didn't go you reduce this value but let's try it leaving it at 200 so let's go to our deployment tab i'm using injected provider my metamax to deploy to mainnet so um the next thing for me to do is to come and select my my smart contract so put in the parameters that i need to deploy i need two parameters let me get the values here um my factory contract address is this and my wrapped it address is this so so i place them is the requirement for me to deploy so once i click on transact you can see creation of uniswap version 2 pending so let's um wait and see yes our metamax is up i confirm the transaction So while we wait for the transaction to be mined, good, you can see transaction confirmed. So the transaction was successful, and that is, um, you can see it right now, success. So this is how you will be able to. This is how you will be able to to be able to deploy a larger contract that is bigger than 24. Uh, this is how you deploy a large smart contract on mainnet using that optimization and that is it then secondly you can also do this for when you are working with um, your ide on a visual studio code and you are working with hard hat so simply what you need to do is to come to this section of your hard hat configuration make sure that your optimize optimizer is set to enabled and you put your runs just simply change this 200 to 1 remember if you're working with hard hat simply change your 200 to one save it and deploy and that particular smart contract will get deployed successfully on chain thank you if you are happy with the solutions we are bringing to you on anything blockchain please send our videos across to friends uh, like our videos subscribe to our youtube channel so that you get more videos coming your way um wishing you compliments of the season thank you